Um, I'm in a different spot today because what's behind the camera right now is something that I've thought about every day for the last like eight years. And uh, being here right now, looking at it, I, I could honestly get emotional, I think. Like, I'm just gonna show you, okay? See that house? That's the house I grew up in. And I don't come up here very often because, like I said, I could get emotional right now. But that's the, that right there, that's the house that a lot of the things that have made me who I am happened in that house. And I don't know, just wanted to come up here and look at it for a second, share it with you. Um, that was my, right, right there, those two windows, that was my bedroom. And I don't know, it's just weird. It's just weird being here, it's weird looking at it and seeing the yard I used to play in and seeing the garage that I used to have my clubhouse in and like the screen porch we used to call it that we all used to hang out on. It's just, it's a little, it's nostalgic for sure but it's a little emotional. I, I just gotta be honest, I don't know. I'm gonna get out of here now before people get weirded out or I start crying but yeah. Memories, man. They're hitting hard right now. The only thing I don't miss about living there is all the hills. Because I used to walk around a lot as a kid and the only way to get to that house is walking up crazy hills. So, don't really miss that. I miss the house, just not its location that much. <laughs> I helped the construction of this house when I worked in construction like right up the street from my old house. I hope the people that live there are enjoying my work. <laughs> I really didn't do that much. I don't know how many minutes or hours I have left of daylight, but I'm heading up to where I went to elementary school, which is like three or four blocks away from that house that I used to live at. And I'm gonna try to, I don't, I don't know if I can even go up there because it's, it's abandoned now. It, uh, it's not a school anymore. It'd be a great place to have the Nerf battle I was talking about. Don't know how that would happen. Probably would never happen. <laughs> It'd be insane though. That's the old baseball park. Me and all my friends used to come and hang out at. Or me and my dad and my brother and my sister would bring our dogs up here and stuff like that. And then over here, all these woods, it's where me and my friends used to like ride our mountain bikes through and be stupid. All these hills, oh, New England man, made up of hills and roundabouts. <laughs> now if any of you are watching this who went to this school with me or have gone to this school years back, you know that this playground used to be that old wooden playground. Why, why would they change it? We don't want this plastic stuff. Bring back the wood, the wooden playground. I don't know, that was, that was a good spot. Recess happened there when you got to like fifth grade, I think. You got to come out to the big playground. Here's the school. Walking up to it right now, it's a little weird. It just seems so dead, you know? It's like grass growing through the parking lot. Just, it's just unfortunate, you know? Come to a place like this that kind of shaped you as a person when you were a kid and now it's just falling apart. All right, so these are the doors that I used to walk through every day for like six years of my life. Um, I went here from kindergarten all the way up to fifth grade and then I switched to our middle school. This one, which then closed after my first year there so I was only there for sixth grade and then I had to come back here in the basement and do seventh grade. And then I went to eighth grade at the high school. Our, our school system's a little screwed up around here, but yeah, so I left here after fifth grade, went to sixth grade at the middle school, and then I came back here 
for seventh grade, which was all right. It was fun coming back. It was, it was a little strange, but I got through it. It's a little weird. It's so, it's, it's honestly so weird that it's so like dark in there and it's so quiet. And they use it for like storage now, I think. There's just a bunch of stuff in there. I don't know. Should I try to fly the drone? Think I'd get in trouble? Oh, there's nobody up here. I mean, I guess I could try. <laughs> All right, uh, drone flight was pretty successful, I think. Depends on if you just saw it or not. <laughs> uh, gonna pack this little guy up now and uh, I don't know. Move on. I'm losing my I'm losing my light. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Now I'm really losing my light. But yeah, this place, this place right here, a lot of memories there too. Met a lot of cool people there too. Um, a lot of us have lost touch over the years, but I hope you're all doing well. We had some good times there, hey? Hey, huh, huh? I don't know, we were stupid. We were stupid kids. <laughs> I don't know, we were that generation that just liked to be dumb, hurt ourselves. I don't know. But yeah, this school and that house that I showed you are definitely two things that I remember very often and I think about a lot. If any of you are watching this that make videos or anything. I highly recommend that you go to a place like this if you still live near it, like your old school, your old house. I don't know, this was exciting, this was enjoyable. I had fun making this video. I don't know, I highly recommend you try it out. It was a good time. Yeah, memories. If you like this one, please leave me a comment, hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't already, if you feel like being a dude. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Whoa! Hold up, look at this sky right now. That's just beautiful. Why, why didn't I keep the drone in the air for that? <laughs> I don't know, I just had to show you that before I, before I left, but bye.